Hello and welcome to another video of how to series. So in automation using Selenium, there were cases I have seen where we want to delete the browser history before we want to start the actual execution of navigating to the application and performing the action. So that can be the case where we want to clear the cache of the browser or, or that can be the case where we want to log into each scenario with a new session. So in that case, we gonna need to clear the history of browser so that we'll be able to get the login page. In today's video, let's see how to clear the history of browser in Selenium using Java language. Before starting off, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't done yet, please hit that subscribe button below so that you'll never miss any videos of mine. Let's get started. And in this video, I would like to show how to delete the history of the Chrome browser. Let me go to the Eclipse and here I have got the demo class created and in this demo class, I have written a simple code to initiate the browser and navigate to the Google home page and close the browser. First, let's see what are the steps that are involved in removing the history of browser manually. For clearing the history manually, we go to the Chrome settings and then to the Clear browser data. Then you will get a pop up saying clear data. So here we will be clicking on clear data and that will clear the history for us. So what we do is basically navigate to the settings and the and then click on this clear data button. So let's do the same steps in the automation aspect. So for clicking on this clear data button, if you go to inspect and when you observe this button here, so this button is having the ID of clear browsing data confirm. So that is fine. But when you observe the HTML tags here, we have got the shadow root to navigate to. So for doing that, we instead of writing the XPath to click on this, we are making use of the JavaScript executor to perform this action. So let's write the whole path in the JavaScript executor so that it will execute that script to click on this clear button. So let me go to the Eclipse and before getting the driver itself, we want to clear the history. First step is driver dot get and we want to get the URL which is clear browsing data and then let's create the javascript execute javascript executor js equals to javascript executor of driver and let's write the script to execute it. Let's store the whole script of the JavaScript executor in this string. And so in JavaScript, if we want to navigate to any of the element, we can make use of the query selector to navigate to that element. Write it as document dot query selector. And let's start with the root node. So here the root node for clicking on this clear data button is select settings UI. Query selector of settings UI. And again after the settings UI you have the shadow root. So we have to navigate to this shadow root. And then again using the query selector. We are selecting the settings main. And then again we have the shadow root. Later we have to go to the settings basic page. Query selector. And once we go to the settings basic page, we again have the shadow root. 
cut. And once done with that, we will be navigating to the setting session and then to the settings privacy page. It does not have a shadow root in middle. So, we can navigate directly. Reselect it. Write it as. Later, we have got the shadow root again. After that, we have got the settings clear browsing data dialog. And after that, we again got the shadow root. And later, we have got the ID which says the clear browsing data dialog. And here we are making use of the ID. So we write it as pawn and we need to give the ID value. The ID. So after the clear browsing data dialog, we have this clear browsing data confirm ID. So very selector IDs value. This is the whole path which we want the JavaScript to execute. So, here we are trying to navigate to this clear data button. So, what it should return for us is the web element. So, let us add return. Turn the web element. Let's name the web element as clear data. JS dot root script. So it is executing the script and returning us the web element, which is the clear data. Copy it as well. And once we navigate to this web element, we want to click on this clear data button. Clear data dot click. This will click on that button. And once that is done, we want to navigate to the URL of the application. So we are done with the development of the test script to clear the browser history. So let us run and see if this is working fine. So you can see it has navigated to this clear browser data, but it does not click on this clear data button. And when you go to this console, it is saying it cannot read the shadow root property of none. So we are getting this error because so the script is faster than the actions that is happening. So what it did is after navigating to the clear browser data. I have added some wait time using the thread dot sleep. And once it waits, again it will try to find this web element. After finding the web element, it will click. And when it clicks on this clear browser data, actually it takes some time to clear the history. So even for that also, I have kept some wait time. Dot sleep five five seconds and then it will navigate to the application URL. So this is the solution I got to explore personally while I tried to implement this functionality. So I was struck with this particular error which says it can't read the property because it is not able to read the property as the script is going faster than the actual action. So by adding the wait time,
the script and the browser both were in sync and the script got executed for me so let's run and see if the same is working So it has navigated to clear browsing data and then it has clicked on this clear data button and opened as this Google home page successfully. So let's wait till the browser got loaded and it closes as closed successfully. And we can see the script got passed. Adding this wait times helped us in keeping the application and the script in sync. So this is how you can basically remove the history of the Chrome browser before navigating to the application URL. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel.